I'm not really sure what to do with this one. So let's just jump in. This one apparently is called the 4-3-3 to 3-4-3 winger pulls the fullback in. That's what it says on top, at least. And on the description on the page I got this from, it only says first choice lineup. There's nothing else. So this is just kind of a, a tactic that I figured, eh, what the heck? I'm kind of running out of good tactics to try. So I found this one on the Steam Workshop. Figured I'd give it a shot. It does have, I don't know why they say fullback, but it does say a wingback and it's thrown all the way up on the right side. So it should be interesting how it you know plays out in our leagues. So I'm really not sure how that's going to play out with our teams of Liverpool and Aston Villa in the Premier League and our championship side of Ipswich Town. With that said, let's just jump into the Premier League and see. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't look all that great for our two Premier League teams. Aston Villa with 67 points, that's okay. They're down probably from their average that we've seen tactic, you know, throughout all these tactic talks. But 58 goals is pretty low. Liverpool in six is definitely low. 64 points. You expect them to have at least 20 points more. 71 goals is pretty low as well. Since Aston Villa is on top of the table, we start with them. Carabao Cup third round, they are out against Arsenal 1-2. And then the FA Cup quarterfinals, well, against Liverpool. So we know Liverpool moves on. And then unfortunately, out against Olympiacos in the Europa Conference League round of 16. Both legs, you just lose. Wow, that hurts. So overall, fifth place, not the greatest. We have seen better. We've seen worse, no doubt about it. But I would definitely say this has not worked all that great. Absolutely no trophies this season. Yeah, not so much. Stats-wise, goals only 20 for Ali Watkins. I mean, still a nice tally for most, but unfortunately we've seen him with a lot more. 15 for Diaby, not bad there. Assist 12 for Diaby and Zaniolo, and oh, Tielemans as well, but a couple spread out in the double digits. Average rating, 715 for Douglas Luiz. Switching over to Liverpool, Luton Town is where they lose out Carabao Cup quarterfinals 1-2, and they got to the semis right after Aston Villa and lose out to Chelsea. And Napoli drop them out of the Europa League 2-4 away from home in the round of 16, and the do-all draw just not able to make it through. So overall, three points worse than Aston Villa in the table, sixth place not great. No trophies for them either. You got to the semis of the FA Cup, the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup, but still, you'd want something out of this season. Liverpool squad, yeah, I mean, you have a couple of green there, but not as many as usual. 19 goals for Nunez and Sobeslai. Nice job, Sobeslai, but assists. 15 for Diaz, Trent with 12, less than uh, in double digits than Aston Villa had, and then a 7-3-5 for Sobeslai. Aston Villa's data hub, usually we see the attacking numbers. This time it's kind of sort of thrown to the other side of the crossing percentage, but you do get a couple of non-penalty expected goals and shots per game up there in there, but you really want a lot more. Goals per game, 1.53, so not great. Conceded per game is 1.05, so better than usual for Aston Villa. Liverpool, on the other hand, thrust it upwards like usual, except very low compared to what we're used to. We're used to some seriously high attacking numbers. But goals per game, 1.87 conceded. Wow, 1.16. And then, of course, Premier League stats. You've got Aston Villa with 1.76 points per game. Liverpool only with 1.68. Really low for them. But most goals, Liverpool in third with 71. So they're still up there, but just not nearly as much as usually. Aston Villa in eighth with 58. That's pretty low for them as well. Few shots against Liverpool in fourth with 285. Aston Villa in sixth with 341. Most possession, 60% for Liverpool with 57% for Aston Villa. Still both higher than usual, or higher than average, I should say. Most dribbles made, Aston Villa in 6 with 647. Best pass completion, 89% for both. And then most shots for Aston Villa this time up with 484 in 6th and 8th place Liverpool with 463. But now how did our championship side of Ipswich Town do? 13th place, really abysmal. I mean, 17, 12, and 17, 74 goals, but 63 points. You've got a long distance to get to where you're usually up there. At least within the top six is the average, but it just didn't seem to work for Ipswich Town. Domestic Cup's out pretty quickly. Carabao Cup second round, at least you got to the second round, but still, Swansea drop you out, and then FA Cup third round immediately against Brentford. So overall, definitely a season to forget. Championship 13, no, that's not good. And definitely not great in the domestic cups either. Squad-wise, does not look high. 13 goals for Connor Chaplin, 8 for Hurst. That is pretty insane. Assists, 10 for Wes Burns. And then average rating, 716 for Wes Burns. It's really not a good season. 
So this one should be quick. Championship stats, most goals, Ipswich Town with fifth, in fifth place with 74, tied with a couple. Fewer shots against in seventh with 416. Most possession in seventh with 55%, and most dribbles made in eighth with 718. And in case you're interested, 1.37 points per game, and that's it. So let us take a look at this tactic. You start with a sweeper keeper in defend, an inverted fullback in defend, two central defenders in defend, a wingback thrown all the way up in automatic, a DM in support, box to box in support next to a deep line playmaker in support, inverted winger in support, and then an inside forward in attack on the right, and an advance forward in attack up front. Positive mentality, in possession, attacking with this fairly wide, approach plays pass into space, underlap on the left and the right, focus play through the middle and play out of defense, passing directness is shorter, tempo is standard, final third, mix crosses and work the ball in the box, play for set pieces. In transition, counter press, counter, slow pace down, distribute to the center backs and take short kicks. And then out of possession, a high press line of engagement, a standard defensive line, trigger press more often, prevent your goalkeeper distribution, and trap inside. So, let's recap. Unfortunately, it didn't work for any of our three teams. Ipswich Town's media prediction is 10th, or thereabouts. 13th is not good. No question about it. They did not have a good season at all. Liverpool is 6th place. Definitely a lot lower. Like I said, about 20 points lower than average. Aston Villa... I would say about five to 10 points lower than average. So Astonville doing the best, but still, I don't think this worked all around. I don't know what the tactic was created for, what team it was created for, or if it was just the creator just had something in mind and said, yay, let's try it. Um, I would be very interested. I always have an issue where certain team members like George Hurst aren't being played very much. So I'm kind of thinking maybe I'll test this out later and kind of throw George Hurst and have him force him into that role of the striker and see what happens. But overall, this just didn't work for it. at least for these three teams. If it worked for them, I wish they would actually put it in the comments or in the description or something like that. But that's it for me. 7FM for the Football Manager blog channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.